In the first video on this channel, Counting the Cost, we asked three questions for you to evaluate your belief and the depth of your belief with regard to scripture. As you go throughout the videos on this channel, we ask that you occasionally go back and review it. Although it's a video, it's very pertinent, and we ask that you look at it and examine where your faith is and if it's changed from the first time you asked yourself. Hi, my name is Ayana, and I'm the creator, facilitator, researcher, editor, photographer, and anything else for both Yahweh Direct channels. The purpose of this particular channel, Yahweh Direct 2, is to get a deeper, better understanding of scripture through its original language for new believers. We research the original language by compiling archaeological artifacts, examine old concordances, lexicons, historical information, and we cross-reference all of that using different scriptures. Now, what is the original language? It's a little known word called Yaudyeth, and it looks like this at the bottom, and that is what people consider Hebrew, but it's not Hebrew. We examine Hebrew, we explore Hebrew and what it really means in two videos. The first one, should Hebrew be called Hebrew? And the second one, uh, what Hebrew isn't? Please take a look at those. Now, for our inspirational verses for both channels, we go to Ayub 8.8 and Yarmayah 6.16. Both verses, Yahweh tells us to go back to our forefathers and examine what was what he said to them to find the truth of what is really scripture is about. So to show you a little bit of what we do, we're going to interpret Bereshath, which you know as Genesis 1.1. So this is what most people think Hebrew is, and Hebrew read from right to left. But this isn't Hebrew, this is actually Aramaic, which is a Babylonian slash Assyrian language. Now the English interpretation of this is, in the beginning, G-O-D created the heavens and the earth. And that's what you'll see in most scripture books today. But let's take a deeper look using the real language. All right, so this, as I stated before, is Hebrew, but it's really the word Yaudyeth. All right, so we have reinterpreted this, and it states as a sign of the beginning, Yahweh created the chief sign of the heaven and the chief sign of the earth. And that's a sign of the beginning. Yahweh created the chief sign of the heaven and the chief sign of the earth. And those are the breakdown, literally word for word. All right, so this time we're going to concentrate on the second half and a chief sign of the ha that's for the word ha it doesn't just mean the it means a place or location so a chief sign of the place of his name or character sham and the chief sign of the place of running or firmness but you'll see all three. In the beginning, G-O-D made the heavens and the earth. As the sign of the beginning, Yahweh created the chief sign of the heaven and the chief sign of the earth. And as a sign of the beginning, Yahweh created the chief sign of the place of his character and a chief sign of the place of running. And all three are true. Just getting more in depth. So now that you've seen what we do, we want to go over what's expected of you on this channel. Let's take a look here. So first, you need to know, what are you searching for? Are you looking for the truth? Or are you looking for confirmation of what you already know? And if that's what you wanna do, you don't need this channel, that's called substantiation. But if you're looking for the truth, then you need to know that truth and what you know your knowledge are complete opposite and opposing things. 
So here are some tools that you'll need during all the videos on this channel. Obviously, you'll need a scripture book, preferably one that you already own. You'll need pads and pen to write down any thoughts or questions as you go through the lessons. Highlighters to point out anything in text. And you'll need lexicons. And also, you'll need different types of concordances. A combination of both, one or the other, depending on what you're doing. As you look through the channel, in our many videos, we ask that you watch our content, take it in, re-watch it. We ask you to study the contents of it. Look at our references. Look at the books, the concordances, and see and check and make sure that everything is correct. Lastly, once you take it in and if you believe it and then you absorb it, share it with others who may be looking for the truth of scripture also. And as always, you can contact us in one of two ways, actually three. One is through our website, yawadirect.us, our email, yawadirect at mail.com, and always on either one of our channels, the original Yawa Direct channel or the Yahua Direct 2 channel, where we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. In our next video, we are going to examine the different prefaces of scripture books. We're going to look through them and look at their explanation as to why they use certain names for our creator. Names like this one, or this one, or even this one. We'll take a look, see why they use it, and show why it should not be used. If you like the videos, if you enjoy the information, please show your support. We could really use your help. Please donate to paypal.me at Yahua Direct. Thank you. We thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you enjoy it, and we look forward to working with you in the next video. Shalom to you and your family.